Okay, the next number system we're going to talk about are Roman numerals. After the Roman Empire, which existed from about 750 BC up until approximately 500 AD. Now, the Romans used a numbering system very similar to the Egyptians, actually, except that they also had symbols not just for the powers of 10, but for the fives as well. Here we are. Uh, an I is a 1, a V is a 5, an X is a 10, an L is a 50, a C is a 100, a D is a 500, and an M is a 1000. Now, it's not exactly a positional system, but there's a few cases where order does matter. In general, you always put the largest numbers first and to the right. If they are out of order, it means subtraction, and the only allowed ones are you can have IV is a 4, IX is a 9, XL is 40, XC is 90, CD is 400, and CM is 900. Those are the only ones that you're allowed to put out of order. IC would be a, sounds like a great way to write the number 99. It is in fact not allowed. The Romans did things a certain way and they didn't allow it to be done any other way. So for example, let's say you were born in 1985. How would you represent the number 1985? 1985 is, well, the 1,000 is an M. The 900 is going to be 100 less than 1,000. That's CM. The 80 is L for 50, and then three tens to bring it up to 80. And then five is just a V. Um, this year is much easier. 2013 is simply M, M for the 2000, and then the X, I, I, I for the 13. Much, much easier. If you want to represent numbers even larger, then this goes up to, let's say, 4000. You put a bar over them. 5000 is a V5 with a bar over it. Each bar you put over it multiplies it by 1000. So, for example, 5 million would be a V with two bars over it. So, let's say we want to do some long, crazy example. If you wanted to have 7,293,864, well, let's see. 7 million is going to be, there's 7, V-I-I, thousand million, 293,000, we do 293, 200 is 200s, 90 is XC, 10 less than 100, and then 3, that is the number 293, one bar over it makes it 293,000, and then 864 would be, there's a 500, 600, 700, 800, and 60 is LX, and 4 is IV. And a little bit of practice, and you can read these pretty easily. Hi, it occurred to me that we should probably go both ways on this translation. It doesn't help to just take our numbers and write them in Roman numeral fashion. We should also look at a Roman numeral and come back. So, for example, look, look at this. Uh, XCVII with a bar over it, DCCXLVIII. What is this? The very first symbol we see is an X followed by a C. This is out of order. This is a 10 coming before 100. That means it subtracts. That means this is a minus 10, and then this is a 100, and then the V is a 5, and the 1's come after it. So it's plus 5, plus 1, plus 1, or 97, except that it has a bar all over it, so that is 97,000. 
Now similarly over here, the D is 500 followed by smaller things. So this is 500 and 100 and 100 for a total of 700. And then the X before the L is a minus 10 and a 50. So that is a 40. And then the VIII is 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 8. So 748 for a grand total of 97,748.